In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to animate these abstract shapes. Hi guys, my name is Manuel. Stick around, it is not as complicated as it seems. To follow along, you might want to download the project file. Alright, let's set up the comps we need. Here's the comp we start with. Size 1080 by 1080, I added a background solid with a simple gradient ramp. We take this comp and create a new composition by dragging it on the comp symbol down here. I quickly name it main comp. Then we grab the anchor point tool and move the anchor point to the bottom left corner and if you hold command while moving it, it snaps to the corner point. We open the transform property and set the position to 540 by 540. Then we duplicate it, go to layer, transform, flip horizontal, duplicate the flipped comp, flip vertical and one more time duplicate the comp, flip horizontal. That's the basic setup, 4 times the pre-comp placed around the center. Let's get back into our pre-comp and add another solid, command Y. We name it shape 1 and add a gradient ramp. From a fresh pink in the top left corner to a bright yellow in the bottom right corner. And we'll really crank up the ramp scatter to give it some noise and avoid color banding to around 200. Let's animate. We quickly add a new mask, shift command N and move the bottom edge to the center. You could also click on shape here in the mask property and change the bottom value to 540. We rotate the shape minus 45 degrees and of course the shape is too small. We solve the problem quick and dirty and scale it up to around 180% so that it covers all the corners. Let's finally set some keyframes for the rotation, position and mask path here at 25 frames. Then we go to the beginning and move the shape down to the bottom right corner. And we take the upper left edge of the mask and move it down here as well. And if you hold shift while moving, it'll move down in a straight line. We select the two position keyframes and open the graph editor. Make sure the snap icon is activated and edit speed graph is selected. Then we adjust the speed curve by slowing down the beginning and the end of the animation. Then we right click on the solid, go to layer styles, bevel and emboss. Set the style to inner bevel. Size 250. Soft and 16. Set the shadow mode to overlay and choose a bright yellow. Now let's move on to 45 frames and set the rotation to 45 degrees. Set another keyframe at 55 frames. At 70 frames we set the rotation to 135 degrees. 90 frames back to 90 degrees. We select all rotation keyframes and create some nice and smooth speed curves. To make sure nothing happens between 45 and 55 frames, we change this one here into a toggle hold keyframe, which basically freezes the property until a new keyframe says something different. Let's go to our main comp and take a look at what we've done. Well, looks like a good beginning. Let's add some more shapes. With no layer selected, we double click on the rectangle tool, which creates a new shape. Name it shape 2 and move the start point to 25 frames. Change the position to 0x and 1080y. The rotation to 45 degrees and we scale it down to 70%. Let's add a gradient ramp and start with a very bright pink here above the top corner and go a bit darker here towards the center of the shape. We again add a lot of ramp scatter, 200. At 40 frames we set a keyframe for the scale, then go to 25 frames and set it to 0. Then we need to adjust the size a little, so that the two shapes don't overlap. 
I quickly do that frame by frame for the first 9 frames or so. And add easy ease in to the last keyframe. Then at 55 frames I split the layer Shift Command D and open the rectangle property of a second part. Right click on the rectangle shape and select turn into a BC path. Now we are able to animate the points. One frame before shape 1 hits this shape we set a path keyframe. Then we adjust the point until it disappears. And we set the end point of the shape here. Let's have a quick look in the main comp. Nice, but still quite empty, right? Let's add another shape. No layer is selected, we double click on the rectangle tool and name it shape 4. We scale it down to 50% and move it to the bottom left corner. This point here hits the line. Let's copy the gradient ramp from the shape below and paste it to shape 4. Maybe we change the second color into a fresh blue. Let's set a keyframe for scale and rotation at 45 frames. Then move to 38 frames and scale it down to 0 and rotate it minus 45 degrees. That's also the beginning of the shape. We quickly select those four keyframes and edit the speed curves. Slow down the beginning and the end. Then at 62 frames, when the shape below starts to move, we set another keyframe for the rotation. And at 70 frames, we set it back to minus 45 degrees. Again, quickly adjusting the speed curve. Awesome, finally getting there. One more shape. Back to our pre-comp, we go to 50 frames, double click on the ellipse tool and name it ellipse. Set the start point here at 50 frames. Use a very bright pink as fill, no stroke. Scale it down to 25%, place it in the bottom left corner and set a scale keyframe at 60 frames. At 50 frames, we set it to zero. We want it to bounce a little, so we go to 55 frames and scale it up to 30%. And add easy ease in to all keyframes. At 62 frames we set a position keyframe. At 70 frames we move it up. At 95 frames we move it down, out of the screen. Once again, we select all keyframes, open the graph editor and adjust the speed curves. This time we start very fast, then slow down. Start very slow after the keyframe, speed up, then slow down again. One last thing. In our main comp, we go to 70 frames, set position keyframes for the upper left and lower right composition. Then go to 85 frames and move the upper left composition to the right x1080 and move the lower right composition to the left x0 One last time, with all four keyframes selected, we quickly adjust the speed curves. This is how we turn some simple shape animations into something really interesting. Let's have a look. Nice! On the left side I've added some videos you might like, so see you there! Subscribe to my channel on the right side and ring the bell if you want to know exactly when the next video is coming out. Thanks so much for watching guys, hope that tutorial was useful. See you in the next video, bye!